Alright, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praise unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Yahweh who the world ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shai who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And um, one thing I want to just kick off the show with, man, is, um, you know, I always hear these Christians, like if I watch, um, you know, a, a Christian, you know, channel relating to, you know, things going on in the world right now, like I'll give one channel and as an example. Uh, what is it? Sister in Christ, I believe it's called. You can look that up. But I would watch some of the videos on there. And if you go to the comment section, which usually she just puts up shorts, which are um, videos that are like 20 seconds long, maybe 35 seconds long. Um, Y'all should know what that is. But, um, you know, we go to the comment section. You know, if it's on a video that's, you know, of a world event that happened, that's negative and people lost their lives and, you know, stuff like that. People will be in the comments like, oh, well, that's Satan up to his old tricks, right? You know, the devil's up to his old tricks. And it's like, well, wait a second. Well, what scripture are you quoting? What scripture are you guys talking about? Well, how is Satan up to his old tricks? If, um, according to the Bible, Satan has to go to God to get the permission to bring evil upon anyone. That's what the Bible says. Just read Job, the second chapter. Right, in order to bring evil upon Job, he had to get God's permission to bring evil. He couldn't go around doing what the hell he wanted. No, he had to go to the Most High to get the permission. And then the Most High, if you read Job 2, the Most High gave Satan the permission to do evil, but he told him what? He said that um, you know, you can do what you want to um to Job, but you have to spare his life. Right? You can't kill him. You can do you know other stuff if you want to him. But you have to spare his life. And Satan was like, oh, okay, I agree. Okay, so Satan went and did what he wanted. But he had to um, spare the uh, the life of Job. Okay, so the point is that Satan got the permission from the Most High to do that. As far as these demons, the demonic spirits. You know, because guys are on there talking about how, you know, God and Satan are in some type of like war, you know, up in heaven. And, and something like that, you know, and they also teach that, you know, one time in history, you know, there was a war in heaven where Satan rebelled with a bunch of angels with him, you know, and they all got cast into the earth. You ask, well, what verse in the Bible says that? No one can give it. They'll either go to um, Isaiah, the 14th chapter, which Isaiah 14 is not talking about the spiritual demon Satan, because if you read it, it said, take this proverb up against the king of Babylon. So that's not talking about the spiritual demon Satan. Or they'll go to um, Revelation. What is that? The 12th chapter. But when it says, um, what is it? Satan and his and his minions. That's talking about the, um, the armies of the world, you know, fighting with the Lord. That's not talking about the spiritual demon Satan. And then second of all, let's even deal with this. Even if they do go to that verse, wait a second. How can you bring that up? To say that happened in the past, if you guys believe that happens in the future, because that's in the book of Revelation. So even by that form of logic, how can you use that to say that Satan fought against the Lord in the past if the one in Revelation you guys believe haven't happened yet? That wouldn't make logical sense, which first of all, it's not even talking about that to begin with. You know, but that might be a little deep. Um, because as in the Bible, there's um Multiple places where it uses devil or Satan. It doesn't refer to a spiritual demon, Satan. I'll give an example. A Christ called, what was it, Peter, right? Christ called Peter a devil, right? Or Satan, right? Christ called him Satan. So does that actually mean that Peter was Satan himself, like the spiritual demon Satan? That mean, That's no. No, he doesn't, you know, mean that, even though he used the word Satan to describe it. Okay. Is the word devil just means an adversary. Okay, that's what it means. Okay, so an opponent can be a devil. That's why I have a saying out there that goes, you know, oh, this guy's a damn devil demon, right? He's a damn devil demon, right? Like this cat out there, we usually like to say that about them. What's this guy? What's this guy? Um, Dreadlord, right? Also known as the Southern Israelite. Right, we call him Dreadlord Day Damn Devil Demon. Now, does that actually mean that he's the devil because we called him a devil? The answer is no. It doesn't mean he's actually, you know, the real spiritual demon, Satan. 
because we called him the devil. You know what I'm saying? So it all boils down to the um, to the context of what the words used. Okay, but going back to what it was saying, it's like everyone's giving Satan credit where the, their credit needs to really go to the most high, man. Why? Because God is behind the deception in the world, right? God's behind the evil in the world. Less says the scriptures. And there's too many precepts on that. Okay, so as I said, man, you know, I always hate to hear when these people try to, you know, give Satan credit, you know, for, you know, things that are going on in the world. Because that's not true. God is the one who gets credit. Right? Because the Lord is the one who's behind all things. And that's a hard pill to swallow, man. I mean, that's a hard pill to swallow, you know, but that's the truth, right? So that's why we come out and tell the people that is because even though it's hard to digest, you know, hard to believe in, nevertheless, it is the truth. Okay, so, you know, as I said, man, you know, you got to be careful who you listen to out here, man, because you got a lot of guys out here, especially on YouTube, you know, who are leading you totally astray, man, you know, totally leading you in the wrong direction. That's why you listen to certain of these guys asking them about um, UFOs. And, they'll, you know, they'll tell you that um, that they're either, you know, all demonic or they're like some type of government, you know, military craft is what they'll tell you. But they won't tell you that those are actually the vehicles of the Lord's angels, man. That's what they won't tell you. Why? Because they don't know that. Right. So when everyone sees these chariots, right, these UFOs in the sky... Everyone's going to be called off guard, right? Everyone's going to be, you know, in awe, so to speak. Right? Everyone's going to believe, you know, oh, well, that's either, you know, government propaganda to deceive the masses, or it's, you know, right, Project Blue Beam, what the, this is what they'll say, or the Christians will say, oh, well, that's Satan and his angels, you know, trying to pull a massive deception. But what they don't know is that's actually the Christ's second return. That's what they don't know. Okay, but as they said, man, you know, hey, if you know, then hey, you're in you're in luck, man. Because guess what? No one else really knows that except for a limited number of people. Right? There's only a couple thousand people on earth who know that information, man. So consider yourself to be um, you know, part of the enlightened few. Right? Consider yourself to be part of the awakened few that know this information. You know, and that's, it's vital information to know about that, man. Right, it's vital to know about that. Because when you see that, you know, you're you're going to know that it's not something we're supposed to be fighting against. But rather, we should welcome them. Why? Because that's the, um, the chariots of the Lord, right? The angels are inside of those crafts. Okay, so that's why we're out here telling the people is that when you see these, you know, you're not supposed to be fearful, you know, but, um, you know, we're supposed to, you know, be glad to see them. Why? Because those are the chariots. All right. So I just wanted to do a quick video on that, you know, just to, just to give a couple, you know, spiritual faults. And, um, you know, I'm going to say shalom.